The Aerospace Web Channel is an instrument to help understand the physics behind the aerospace technology. A hundred years after the flight of the Wright brothers will show how we've gone a long way after that historical first jump. Aeronautics is a mature technology used daily by all of us. At its base, there's aerodynamics, a complex science that uses the fundamental laws of physics to foresee and describe the interactions between fluids and solids. Aerodynamics does not only mean aeronautic technology, it is in everyday life. Aerodynamics is all around you. Aerodynamics is in sports. The new sports are possible thanks to aerodynamics. One of the means men use to travel long distances can be renewed in a more sporty and competitive way. Aerodynamics is also amusement. It allows to be competitive in car racing like Formula One, It explains such spectacular goals. Aerodynamics is one of the fundamental subjects to understand weather phenomena, cloud formation, wind, storms, and typhoons. Aerodynamics is in technology in flight transportation, of course, but even where, at a first glance, you won't expect it. Skyscrapers are subjected to the action of the wind, and so are bridges and other civil works. They must be appropriately designed in order to resist to the action of the wind. Aerodynamics has a key role in reducing fuel consumption in the transportation and consequently in reducing pollution for sustainable development. Aerodynamics is around you. It's one of the key subjects of development and technology progress. Let's find out more about it. Let's discover why and how physics fundamentals describe the complex interaction between fluids and solid bodies. The word aerodynamics comes from the combination of two Greek words, aeros, that means of the air, and dynamis, that means force. Aerodynamics is the subject which studies the forces and the motion of the objects through the air, such as airplanes, rockets, but also cars and soccer balls. A body that moves in a fluid or keeps still in a moving fluid is subjected to various types of forces. The drag is the first aerodynamic force that we are going to know. It's a mechanical force due to the interaction between the fluid and the solid body. Aerodynamic drag is generated by the difference of speed between the solid body and the fluid. So if there's no motion, there's no aerodynamic drag. It doesn't make any difference if the object is moving in a still fluid or it's the fluid that moves around the object. The aerodynamic lift is a force that allows the flight of an airplane. It's the key of the aerodynamic technology. The movement of a kite in the air also generates the lift, which is the force which allows the acrobatics that you see in this video. As the drag, the lift is a mechanic force produced by the respective motion of the fluid and the object. By definition, the lift is the force which is perpendicular to the motion. In order to generate the lift, we need to deflect the airflow. A wing is an object made in such a way that the flow is deflected by its shape, but even cylinders and rotating spheres are able to generate the lift. The details of how the lift is created around a rotating sphere are quite complex. But the results can be very spectacular. 
The main part of the lift that supports the airplane is generated by the wing, but other forces act on the airplane. The drag that we have already introduced, the gravity, and the thrust of the engines. The balance between these four forces allows the airplane to fly. During the design phase, it's important to consider the effects of the aerodynamic forces in order to avoid problems and to take advantage from nature. Tacoma Bridge in the United States collapsed because of the very strong oscillations risen by the wind. The aerodynamic action of the elastic structure of the bridge interacted generating an unstable condition called flutter. In order to exploit the force of the wind with the maximum efficiency, a deep study of the blades of the wind power generators is necessary. Also in this field, aerodynamics gives a great contribution to ecology and sustainable development. For Formula One racing car, the loss of the back stabilizer causes the sudden decrease of the negative lift, which is the lift going down. Consequently, the tires lose grip and it's not possible to control the car. It is now clear how a deep study of aerodynamics is very important. The tools the designer has got are simulation softwares, powerful supercomputers, and wind tunnels to compare numerical and experimental results. The aeronautic educational modules that you are going to see together with researchers and your teachers will help you to better understand the physics behind aerodynamics. Music